Ready for Rapture. Total Surrender and Adoration by Susan Davis. Prophetic Messages Dictated to Susan Davis. July 2013 to September 2014. Notice. You are encouraged to distribute copies of this document through any means. Electronic or in printed form. You may post this material. In whole or in part. On your website or anywhere else. But we do request that you include this notice so others may know they can copy and distribute as well. This book is available as a free ebook book and mp3 at the website. 2014 by Susan Davis. Unless indicated otherwise. All scripture reference and notes are from the King James Version Bible. Table of Contents. About these prophecies. Introduction. 1. Israel following the enemy of God or God? 2. Humble hearts will walk with their God. 3. This is the hour of repentance. 4. How to hear the voice of God. 5. Your Bible is unfolding before you rise. 6. My heart aches over every lost sinner who steps into eternity apart from me. 7. Rapture dream. 8. You children are out of my world if you cannot see how dark it has become. 9. Partial surrender is no surrender. I will not accept a lukewarm faith. 10. Unforgiveness. 11. Read my word as if it is the last book on earth. 12. Weaning Christians off Halloween. 13. There is a darkness on this earth that is spreading like a wildfire. 14. I love like no other. 15. I will not be able to remove you with and as my bride if you were married to another. 16. Fear of God. 17. I am the God of second chances, but time is running out. 18. Why do you think I have no say over this world? 19. Don't think it's strange if people are offended. 20. The majority of the world is caught up in their own pleasure. Seeking wealth. Seeking. Rebellion to God. Seeking sensual pleasures. 21. I cannot tolerate a world that is not interested in hearing about my sacrifice on the cross. 22. God's judgment of the living. 23. If you are not in my will then you are not right with me. 24. You must come to me now. 25. If you are caught up in the ways of the world you will be left. 26. No one will be safe from the domination of the evil man run by evil spirits. 27. I will multiply my signs and wonders. 28. How shall I call you? My bride or my left behind lost church? 29. Those who fight against me in my words will find they cannot win. 30. So just what is the state of your spiritual condition? 31. Get to know me as your only hope. As there is no other hope for this lost world but me. It's God. It's Maker. 32. There is great darkness coming over the earth. Darkness brought on by wholehearted rejection of God. 33. I am the one and only cure for a world that is dying in its sin. 34. I want to sup with a bride who enjoys my company and not a harlot who loves the world more than me. 35. Sir enter you are all to Christ. 36. All is about choices, choosing life with me or death with my enemy. 37. Awaken a lukewarm church. 38. Signs of the end times. 39. The evil is cascading. Overflowing into all aspects of life. 40. Questions for and answers from God. 41. The Bible describes with incredible detail what is literally coming to pass. 42. Come and be part of an eternal relationship with your God. 43. Questions for and answers from God, Part 3. 44. Right standing with God. 45. Each day apart from my will for your life is time spent in the kingdom of darkness. 46. Questions for and answers from God. Part 4. 47. Every day you walk apart from me as your Lord and Master is a day wasted with my enemy. 48. Questions for and answers from God. Part 5. 49. We need to be set apart from the world. 50. Those who follow my ways are lamplighters. 51. 
Your life was not an accident. I created you with a goal in mind. 52. Christians dabbling in the occult. 53. The world may be crumbling, but my bride is preserved. She has my spirit and she is preserved. 54. The lukewarm church's desire to cling to the world will be its undoing. 55. Testimonies of encounters with God. 56. Your heart needs to be beating for me. 57. I am a God who is in love with his children. 58. This is a lost generation. Pursuing all other things besides its God. 59. Sacredness of the name of God. 60. You can move in the kingdom of God while on the earth by surrendering your all. 61. What the lukewarm church won't tell you. 62. Knowing the hour we live in. 63. A dance with the devil is a dance with death. 64. You must choose between death and life. All is a choice. About these prophecies. Susan operates in the gift of prophecy. In 1 Corinthians. Chapter 14. Verse 1. It states. Follow the way of love and eagerly desire gifts of the Spirit. Especially prophecy. Now we are living and supposed to be obeying God's instructions in the New Testament. Although some believe that spiritual gifts, such as prophecies, have been done away with, this is man's thinking and not God's. God has not changed his covenant. We are still living in the era of the New Covenant which is also called the New Testament. Please understand that your first commitment should be to the Lord Jesus Christ and his word as written in the Bible, especially the New Testament. As always, all prophecy needs to be tested against the Bible. However, if the prophecy lines up with the Bible then we are expected to obey it. Currently God does not use prophecies to introduce new doctrines. They are used to reinforce what God has already given to us in the Bible. God also uses them to give us individual warnings of future events that will affect us. Just like in the Old Testament, God uses prophets in the New Testament times of which we are currently in. The book of Acts, which is in the New Testament, mentions some of the prophets such as Judas and Silas. Acts, chapter 15, verse 32, and Agabus. Acts, chapter 21, verse 21, and there were others. The ministry of prophets is also mentioned in New Testament times in 1 Corinthians, chapter 12. Verse 28, chapter 14, verse 1, verse 29, verse 32, verse 37 as well as in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20, chapter 3, verse 5, chapter 4, verse 11. Jesus chooses prophets to work for him on earth. Among other things, Jesus uses prophecies and prophets to communicate his desires to his children. The Bible itself was written prophetically through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Some people say words of prophecy are in danger of adding to the Bible or taking from it. Well the Bible speaks of prophecy as being a gift of the Holy Spirit. The way the Bible is added to or taken from is not through additional words of prophecy received by the people which the Holy Spirit gives words to, but by the changing of God's concepts to add new unbiblical concepts from other pagan beliefs for example. But the 